Hello and welcome to the show. Later we'll be joined by Joe Austin who's going to show us a really clever whirly gig card using the Paper Mania Spots and Stripes Brights capsule collection. And she's been practising that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this card has been sent in by Nikki Smith, um, a Ducars demonstrator. And I just want to show you it because I think it's really That's good. She's in the X car, um, Build a scene dies, isn't right. it? Yeah. yeah. And I think it's absolutely brilliant. The only thing, this doesn't move, but I was thinking <laughs> if this was... You're dying for that to move. Trying to move. <laughs> but I was thinking if this was a penny slider card, this would oh, be really good, be fantastic, wouldn't it? wouldn't so it? So that's always another take. So um, if you're watching Nikki, <laughs> <laughs> it would be quite nice to see that. But I thought that was a really good fantastic, card. Fantastic, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Should we bring Joe onto the show? Yes, let's. Welcome over, Jay. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Hey, hey, hey. Are you all right? I'm good, thank good. you. Good. You? I yes. can't wait. How did you get that out all in one go? Not well. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the famous whirly gig card. This is my whirly gig <laughs> card. I'm just looking at this, actually, because that would actually look really nice on this as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, it so would. Yeah. 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 Instead of yeah. the slide With the, the globe from the kinetic yeah. dies, you could have it sort of going, going round and round. round that's true. Yeah. That's yeah. a brilliant idea. There we go. For another show. That's it. So this little card here, this is our whirly card. Yeah. Can I? Of course you can. You pull the little tab that says pull. Oh, I like this. And it just whirls around. So I've Brilliant. done mine as a little flower, but obviously you can create whatever you want with this. And it's just using the baker's twine just as a little string just to pull it along. Obviously, you need that little bit on there just to give people direction to what they need to do. Fantastic. Oh, I like that. Right. Um, well, if I disappear, and then you two can get on and start making. Brilliant. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Right, Joe. should we get started? We will. Good. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is this top section here that's going to spin. Fantastic. Okay, so for this one, what we need to do is take a piece of acetate. Now, I always draw around mine with a permanent marker because I always tend to lose it and lose <laughs> everything else. That's a really good idea. So, always losing obviously, acetate. when it's down there, I can see where it is. Oh, that's genius. Okay. So, all I'm going to do to start off with is just cut out two rough circles. Now, they don't have to be circular. They can be whatever shape you want, but we just good. need nice, smooth <laughs> edges. You're going to lose that I'm going to lose it <laughs> now. That one. Okay, so we're just going to press a little hole in the centre of there and just give it a little bit of a wiggle so you know that around. your hole is quite wide. That's your other one. Thank you very much. There we are. So a nice big wiggle in there as well. Okay, so you've got two holes more or less in the centre there and then those two pieces good, are going good. to come together. Okay, what we need to do now is take off some of these little foam pads. So the circle ones, either the black ones or the white ones, makes good, no good. difference at all really. And then what we're going to do is just to pop this just onto the inside. There we go. So we're going to pop a little brad just in that centre section there. Okay. Thank you. That's it, and you can see there, just try and, and spin it, just so you know that your holes... Make sure it's going to go. Yeah, so it's going to go there, and then just very loosely open out your brad. Okay, so this is the top section here. I'm going to put a couple of little foam pads just on the bottom as well, just so it fastens onto the card. Good, good. And we can still make sure it's going to spin, which that is. And now what we need to do is to have a piece of string. So I'm going to take some of the brides. Oh, I love oh. baker's twine. And what I'm going to do with this is just put a sticky dot on, on the end of it. Okay. Okay, just like that. And then that's going to sit on the inside ah, I of see. this little section. So that's on the top. So you've got your brad top. This is going to sit on the bottom, the one with the two pieces on there. And this is going to go on the top. Okay. And then what you need is about a yard. Oh, yard. Of your twine. So, <laughs> end of your nose to oh. end of your arm. That's about a yard. Okay, so you need quite a long Thank you, Dave. piece of twine there. Okay. And then this little section here is ready to go onto his card. Okay, so what I've done with the card is I've just cut out two ovals. Fantastic. I've done the cloud effect that I showed how to do in one of the magazines as well. So it's just Brilliant. cutting a piece of card just in cover we'll with a bit a of glue. We'll write a little message on the description of the video so we know which issues that, that's, that's in, it. so you can look that up. Yeah. Okay, and then this is going to go on here. Now, we don't need to take off the back part of these little foam pads. It's just really just to raise it oh, up just okay, that tiny little bit. The thing is, if your twine actually goes behind it, sometimes it can be difficult to actually turn it. I see. Now, for the actual main section of the flower, I'm going to use some of the big bloomers. All I've done with these ones is I've taken a scallop circle punch. Okay. So, just basically cut it. That was a two-inch yeah. circle that I've cut there. You're going to fold it in half. Yeah. And then we're going to fold it in half the other way as well. So, yeah. basically, we can just fold it into a quarter. Okay. Okay. When you've got that folded up, you're going to turn it the opposite way and fold it in half again. Oh, the other way, yeah. yeah. So, it's just a, basically a square teabag fold. And okay. then we're going to flip it open. And then we're going to open it 
just like that so you've got like a triangle shape okay and then the two top sections are going to come in towards the center oh, i see like that good good and then i've just put a little bit of double-sided tape just on the back there and that's going to stick it into the center of the flower that looks great that gives it loads of dimension it does it? yeah i say just needed because you've got such a statement piece with the whirly gig element you just need that little bit on the top okay so just open it back up and then just give it a little bit of a press so it's got that extra bit of dimension yeah. on, like that you Fantastic. see there that beautiful bit of depth and then I couldn't resist. Oh, those are fabulous, oh, aren't they? I love these. So that's just going to come just into the centre there, and that's our little bloom completed. Beautiful. So that's now going to sit Fantastic. back onto the top of his card, so we can take the top of our foam pads on here. Okay. And then that's just going to sit just in the centre. Okay, and then on this little end here, the end that you've got obviously hanging loose. Okay. I've just punched out two one inch circles using the X cut punchers. Lovely. And on this one, I've just used the rubbons. Those so the vintage, vintage notes, notes ones. Rubbons. There. I yeah. love those. And again, they match in with the brights really well, yeah. even though they've got that nice yeah, vintage go, feel to it. They, they do with everything, don't they? They do, they're fab. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the end of the twine <laughs> Get there a bit just in between. <laughs> Just there. I've got a sticky on this one anyway. So if you there we go. No, we're one, good. We're done. It. Brilliant. There we go. I'll let you pop and then on that's it. just going to go on there, just so match it up, so it lies on top of each other. Fantastic. Just so it says pull. And then to do the main element of the card, what I'm going to do is take an A5 piece of card. I've already cut the brights paper, okay. and then I've taken a brights die cut for the top. Brilliant. And I put at the bottom. Have a whirly happy day. I love it. <laughs> good. <laughs> there we are. So that's going to sit. Just on the top there. Fantastic. And then with this one, we can raise it up again, just with foam pads, primarily because we've got, obviously, as, as a brad section on there, yeah. so you just need it to lie quite flat. Fantastic. There we go, we just put those on there. And that's just going to sit just in the middle of the card. Right, so. That looks great. There we go, we just make sure that it's spinning, which it still is. There we are. Now, to finish it off, I've just done some bunting as well. Oh, so it's another I'm, one of my new favourite yeah. products. I'm gonna say I just love this. This is the pattern craft tape. This isn't is your it? pattern craft tape. Fantastic. Yeah. So this is in your brights. So you just basically just put it over your twine, fold it in half, and stick it together. That's so simple, isn't it? Like that. And then you just take a little pair of scissors, and you just cut your tail ends. And it makes a fab little bunting. That's really good, isn't it? And then I've taken two of the little ribbon bows, and again these are from the brights. That's a little fantastic glue dot on the back. That teal, I oh, love I love this. Yeah, matches your jumper. It does a bit. T-shirt. There we go. And then those are going to go on the end of your bunting, just really just to hold it in place, make it look a little bit more decorative. And then we can just snip off the ends of the twine that we don't need. And there's your card finished. That's brilliant. Oh, there we go. There we are. Fantastic. So you there can we whirly that one. Oh, I can. And I'm going to whirly this one. <laughs> there we go. Brilliant. Thank there you, Joe. Is. That's fantastic. What no a brilliant problem. project. If you have a go at making a card that moves, a kinetic card, do send us a picture to tv at docrafts.com. We'd love to see what you've been getting up to. Um, you'll find all the instructions for Joe's project in the Creativity Club. That's, the instructions are exclusive to Creativity Club members. Until next time, happy crafting.